Young in the pocket. Throws it upfield, picked off by the Colts in the near sideline. Kenny Moore racing for the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown, I-N-D-Y. Pick six by Kenny Moore. Play action, Bryce Young throws it left side, and it's picked off by the Colts. They're running the other way with it. It's Kenny Moore again. He's at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Two of them today. A pick six, number 23. Have a day. Yeah. Welcome back to the NFL Report. Kenny Moore joins us, one of the best slot corners in all of football. They always get love on our show, Kenny. I don't know if you know this. We love the position on the NFL Report. We love to have you. I don't know what's better, the pick sixes or the dance after the first one, but what I'm really curious about is we're going back home to Georgia for the first time. It's going to be Christmas Eve Two things. How many tickets did we have to get? And what would a pick six back in the home state of Georgia be like on Christmas Eve in front of all those people? First off, great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, I had to get about 25 tickets uh, for the fam, friends, coaches, uh, everybody involved. So we're ready. It it, it would definitely mean a lot to get a, a pick six. So hopefully, you know, it's giving season. So hopefully we can get one. <laughs> hey Kenny, I'm sure it'd be great to get. A, I'm sure it'd be great to get a pick six, but you guys are in the thick of the wild card hunt right now. I mean, to get a win and to further establish yourself in the playoffs, like, how big would that be? Because this already has been a pretty special season for you guys. We've come close a couple of times in my career of you know getting the South Division of the AFC, and um, it's no better time than now. So we have the team, we have the the position in the AFC to go and take it. So uh, each week, it's, it's a big game because we're in it. Kenny, since week nine, there is only one team that has a better record than the Colts at 5-1. and one. It is the 49ers at 6-0. and oh. This stretch that you guys have been on of late, what would you put your finger on? It just seems like the, the hunger's there for you guys, and it feels like when I talk to people in Indianapolis, you still don't think you're where you believe you can get as a team. Well, we just have the humility knowing that we never got it. Um, They stay on us as the coaching staff stays on us. We got the accountability within the team to know that we just got to keep working each day uh, to get the results that we want. We just can't look at the bigger picture of what could happen. The only way we win Sunday is winning today and uh, stacking the next day on top of it. Can you talk about the coaching staff and the accountability? I mean, Shane Steichen comes in there and as your head coach. There's clearly a flip in culture. There's clearly like a flip in belief and positivity. But he also, he kept your defensive coordinator on staff, Gus Bradley. What about that tandem has worked so well, especially for you guys on defense? Probably the relationship uh, prior to Shane coming here, uh, we had already known that they had the relationship uh, built in. so. Uh, we knew that we were good foundation-wise to get the job done. Uh, we're all excited to play each game and to play each game all together. I, I love what you guys do defensively, Kenny. I mean, I mean, you're not hiding anything in a sense that you're going to play zone. You're going to—that's what Gus does. That's the way you guys play. I'm curious in your slot spot with the way you do things schematically. What 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 is it that makes you thrive? in the way that Gus schemes things up for you guys as a defense that allows you to make plays and make plays where you're at on the field? Well, great question. You know, we went through a lot last year in the first year of the system. Honestly, it was a lot of humbling moments. We had to, you know, drill up a couple of things. We had to talk and have the communication to have the success that we have each, this year. So uh, honestly, just a lot of things mm-hmm. that, that's in our back pocket. Uh, we had a lot of built up experience. So uh, just having the guys around, not only just me, but on the D-line and the linebackers, and obviously in the secondary, uh, we just got a lot of built up experience now. So you mentioned your D-line and your linebackers. I'm going to ask our producer to put up something that the Colt social team hosted yesterday. Guys, go ahead and post this. This is dope. DeForest Buckner, six sacks. Quiddy Pay, seven and a half. Samson, Samson Ebukam, nine and a half. Deo Odiyingbo, eight. What about that group? Because the, um, below it, it said they come at you from all angles. What about that group makes it so special, especially to you guys in the back end, that allows you to get the takeaways that you've got? 
Well, Russian cover works together, and uh, we got to put it on DeForest Buckner. I think he said he was going to be taking the defensive backs to dinner at some point uh, during this given season. So, uh, but but no, but no, uh, those guys are hunting, and they have great leadership in uh, Samson, in Dio, in Buck, in Grover uh, to stay stay on the group, and uh, they play with high energy, and we're so. Uh, thankful to have a group like that that's going to make history here soon. That's every every uh, corner's dream is to have guys that get after the quarterback, and when they get after him as a group, is always makes things a little bit better for you back there, Kenny. And uh, we ha we can't have you on and not talk about your quarterback and Gardner Minshew. He comes over with Shane Steichen. Shane knows him so well. Uh, I, I, what I have to ask is, I, I've heard so much about his football IQ. How many, what are, what are conversations about football like with Gardner, especially with someone that knows the game like you know the game? Build up experience, sort of like, you know, the build up experience that we've encountered uh, throughout the defensive side, but uh, just knowing Garner and throughout my career, I had a chance to play him uh, a couple of times and he has the competitiveness. He wants to go out there and fight and win each game. So um, he plays like a starter and the starter that's been playing uh, his whole career. So uh, just just having that poise and competitiveness to go out there and win each game is going to keep us um, at the top of the boards. So Kenny, you talk about how you had to face him and now you know him as a teammate. Before knowing him as a teammate, like how did you have to scheme him up knowing his strengths? Uh, he was he was sort of a gnat because, um, you know, he can pull it down and run it sometimes. <laughs> so uh, with a guy like that with, that you think is going to just stay in the pocket, uh, sometimes he fool you and sometimes, you know, he can make those little juke moves that you didn't think that he really had in his bag. So uh, just a guy like that, you got to always be poised and, and, and uh, honing in to the point of attack that you got to make the play. So uh, you just got to stay disciplined with a guy like that because he can uh, fool you sometimes. All right, well, let's talk about the game you got coming up here. It's against Atlanta. We know the type of skill guys they have. They're built a little bit differently, right, than some of the other teams in the NFL with the type of skill guys that they have. What are your concerns from the slot spot that you have to be aware of and you guys have to be aware of as a defense to make sure you slow this offense down that has now made another change at quarterback? Uh, it's probably the change at quarterback. is probably the, the, the most interesting thing, you know, obviously playing – uh, Taylor last year whenever he was with the commanders and, and sort of knowing him and mm -hmm. he want to go downfield and he want to score. He likes the he likes the home run ball. Uh, he scored a lot of touchdowns in college and then obviously in the league. He's a competitor. So I think that's the type of rap that he has around the league is that he want to go down the field and he wants to score and he's going to stay on you. So uh, we just can't cash it in that these guys are going to give up. Uh, these guys are out there and they want to win the game just like us. So we just got to stay Stay on top and and uh, keep everything in front of us. And then w once we get our shot, we just gotta uh, go in, uh, and attack. Kenny Moore, man, we cannot thank you so much for one entertaining us on the football love. field. We love, we love how you guys are playing and 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 just surprising the whole NFL, doing the things that you're doing. We also want to wish you and your family a very merry Christmas. So thank you very much for joining us here at the NFL Report. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas to all. Take care. Thank you.